not bad. Mind you, around here it's nearly impossible to take a bad photo. This is James Price Point, about an hour outside of Broome. And throughout this area of Western Australia, it is heaven for happy snappers like us. The colour contrasts, the beautiful historic buildings, the bush walks and the sunsets over the water. Today I am finally going to learn how to use this baby properly. Often called the gateway to the Kimberley, this tropical seaside town on the Indian Ocean oozes charm and character. So could I really take some photos like the ones that we see hanging up around us in here? Absolutely, there's no reason why at the end of the day especially that you can't take photographs similar to these. Obviously depending on your camera and its capabilities, but basically you should be able to uh, take images like this. For the serious snapper, Nigel runs 10-day tours into the outback. But our one-day tour starts at the historic Sun Cinemas in the heart of Broome, and I'm about to leave the safety of automatic. We will set you onto AV on your camera. Yep. OK, that is aperture value, aperture priority, so you are actually uh, controlling the light that comes through your lens with your aperture. So you can see there it's F4 mm -hmm. at 15th of a second. There you go. Oh, beautiful. You'll then take that back home, and as I say, you can either change it to a black and white or a sepia. By the time we reached the Broom Factory, a warehouse for local art and design, I'm keen to learn more about the power of the camera lens. These are examples of two different types of lenses. So, Nigel, with my little camera, can I capture an image like that? Uh, yes, it doesn't matter whether you have a small point-and-shoot or a digital SLR, there are slight disadvantages with the smaller camera, but basically if you can't see it, then you can't take it. This one here we'll be doing this afternoon, this is the macro lens, so you end up with all this lovely detail, uh, which you don't normally see uh, uh, with the naked eye. So here we are, this is uh, on the beach at James Price Point. What we're going to do now is we're going to see how we can use lead lines to make our image a lot more dynamic. So the lead line here, as you can see, is the edge of the water. The further our eye travels through the picture, the more interesting it becomes. A few hundred metres up the sand and the terrain takes on a dramatic form. You could be excused for thinking you're on Mars, but this is Nigel's paradise. Broom is very special, has a, a, an incredible quality of light the contrast of colours. People see them in the postcards and in the brochures, but they can't believe how, how real it is here. And it's that red and blue, which is opposite on the colour wheel, which makes it jump out. Oh, perfect. Looks like yours. OK, there you go. Hey? Well done. <laughs> You're Thank a very you. good teacher, you know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> on to macro now, which is your little tulip mode. I thought it was the M. What's the M, M for? Manual. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. M's for manual. Close enough. Yeah. The thing you should read before you pick your camera up. No. What we'll do here is we'll photograph this leaf, and what I'll do is I'll get closer and closer to you, and you'll see how close you'll get to it. These little point and shoots allow you to get very, very close. It was time to head back to Broome's Cable Beach to photograph the iconic Sunset Camel Walk. The sun is now going to hit the camel, and it's going to reflect in the sand, so we double our wow factor, we double the impact. Oh, I got a goodie! Perfect, that's great. If you're interested in exploring Broom or learning more about Nigel's red dirt photography, jump onto our website, guidetothegoodlife.com.au.